Hi everybody, this is the top-down analysis of the Forex market for the next week or even uh, weeks. We've got some interesting uh, developments here at the Euro dollar. So the Euro dollar was not able to break this top run level, right? We have these gray shaded lines. It more looks like now, well, the second scenario, right? We plot it out uh, somewhere here. Uh, after the technical drop, right, what happens? A higher low and then breaking to a new high. So now basically if we break to a new high, well then we're shooting for uh, for this level, that, that becomes a magnet, right? Um, so uh, strength, uh, euro dollar strength, and we have got these stop run levels here. Uh, so basically, well, it's a bullish chart, right? So uh, a, a bullish, um, and we might get, what's, uh, we might get a quick, it's a counter trend rally basically, right? So we might get a quick move here uh, into these uh, into these um, uh, areas. That's actually this high, right? Uh, is is this high? So if this high, um, it, that's why we've got the two arrows. If this high breaks, well then there's uh, um, then there's room for further uh, bullishness, right? Still, it's still um, a range trade that can be very powerful because it's a counter trend rally. Now let's have a look at a yen pair. So we have continued yen uh, weakness. Yes, we can see right as of uh, as of the break of this line we had plotted out back then, mid October. Uh, well, what we have here, um, well, this is an S1 pattern, right? S1 pattern, nicely uh, testing the 21. All charts are bullish. Well, it's not a pattern I would like to trade because uh, the stop is quite wide, right? Um, but should it be break, we have got these very early stop run levels, right? Should we see that the first stop run level gets broken and then and uh, the next one comes up? Well, we, we can basically assume, right, that, that we might see a move like that, uh, and that uh, on an hourly chart. Well, that can be capitalized on creating lower time frames, the five minute, for example, looking for patterns on a five minute, capitalizing on a stop run, stop run move, right? Coming from the uh, the 60 minute. 60 minute is not good enough uh, to trade. Uh, next one, <clears throat> um, this one here, uh, very bullish, right? Um, now it's basically attacking uh, the high here of this uh, of this consolidation. Um, looks looks good after this high has been broken uh, well now basically um, we could see um, another couple of big green daily bars and we could see another weekly bar right next week comes in a new weekly bar we could see another big uh, weekly bar of equal uh, of equal size so that that's an opportunity for next uh, for next week basically limited to next week now this is the uh, odd um, odd us um, so odd US here, we're basically, well, we try to break lower, that didn't work. Well, then, then the bulls become confident, they try to break higher, didn't work here, right? Still range bound, uh, didn't work here. Well, now we have a, we have a higher low, right? And um, this is pressing hard to break higher. Now the 200, as you know, that's a magnet level, right? And uh, I think, well, the opportunity we have here is, well, that it uh, spikes the 200, 200 spike trade. And then we could actually see that, that this is it and that we, we retrace because uh, let, let's just assume it does it, right? Uh, break out and re-break, what's that? Well, there could be an S1 pattern short here on the daily chart because we're already touching the 21 and overall it's bearish, right? So that could be um, yeah, um, an opportunity for, uh, for next week, right? That we see a couple of daily uh, good bullish uh, green bars, uh, which is as well a counter trend rally because overall we are, uh, we are down, right? We are uh, in a downtrend. Next, a US, US Swiss. We have seen from the euro dollar that the dollar is uh, um, the dollar is uh, is weak, right? Um, the euro is strong. The dollar is weak. So um, U.S. Swiss as well. I mean, the Swiss is strong. It has just broken. Let's just move the line a bit. It has just broken this low, and now this is free fall territory with a few stop run levels here, right? So there's now there's a lot of room to go just to meet the prior low. Um, that doesn't require a lot. That's a range play, right? To meet the prior low, a lot of room to go. So let's just draw the line. Uh, this is the opportunity to 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 meet the prior low and then even to break lower. So that has swing potential. In hindsight, yes, that, that, was, that was the last case, right? We marked 
back back then. It didn't. It was not a last kiss, and, and then it, it runs. That happens a lot as well. That's typically for a last kiss, right? Last kiss and then a, a big drop. Well, that didn't happen here. It basically went sideways. Well, now I see why, right? Because the two hundred was uh, was uh, in the way. The two hundred is a magnet. Uh, so uh, price tends to be sticky around it. So this is it basically. And now we could actually see now the drop uh, uh, that was expected. And uh, if you want to get an idea <coughs> of a drop, well, it could be stronger than we see here, right? It's always a good, uh, it's a good belief assumption that um, in a V-shape sell-off, the sell-off can be even stronger than the the, the first leg of, of the V-shape, right? So we could see a, a stronger sell-off and let's just draw it. It could actually be something following along uh, this this line, right? And that could mean that next week we see uh, five five big red con uh, consecutive bars uh, joining the low or even breaking uh, breaking that, that last dominant important um, low. Next, US Swiss. Well, interesting chart, right? Because we know that there is central bank intervention. Um, so they're really fighting hard to intervene that level. What is that level? Well, it's a prior dominant high, right? So they are intervening here uh, and we, we are range bound. Uh, I'm not interested at all. I'm interested in watching and seeing what happens. Well, this, uh, this chart becomes interesting when they cannot, when they let go of their intervention, right? When that level breaks, the, one, the 152, which is, a, which is a big number as well. That they might actually focus on that, right, on the 152 level and have the guidance uh, to their traders, well, don't let price uh, pass, even not a wick, right, even not some price action. Um, next one, <coughs> odd yen, right, odd yen. So that's the chart we were looking at, right, back here. We were hoping that we could get a, a strong rise here through the stock run levels like this. Well, that didn't happen. It was kind of a stepwise, like two steps, three steps up, two steps back. Again, uh, two steps up, well, that's it, right? I mean, we've basically formed a, a rounded shape pattern, but we have broken out now. This is a very important level. That's another stock run level. Well, this breakout could not take out this stock run level. Well, that makes it an even better, an even better stock run level, right? Now we have a, a double top top stop run level and uh, should we break it well then we should get a really nice this type of this type of move right and that's a consolidation and that's the momentum move uh, that is attached to that consolidation so that that's pretty that's pretty nice and you can put put your your alarm uh, just before that level so you you get uh, um, you, you, you get informed right and things are getting interesting now cat swiss <coughs> swiss is strong as we know uh, well, we had uh, we had marked that that we could get a, a similar move than, than we saw before uh, when it breaks uh, lower well it, it is breaking lower right this was a breakout bar now it's consolidating it's really nicely uh, consolidating let's just move that well it's consolidating here well th th that's an s2 pattern right um, a, a quite nice uh, s2 pattern um, depending on how the market opens um, because it's such a tight stop, right? I might take it uh, on uh, on Sunday evening or even Monday, uh, which is an exception to the rule not to trade on Monday. Let's uh, let's see. Um, it might be just half a position size. Um, a lot of swing potential, right? Clear bearish bearishness here. So if you look at the last uh, the, the last chart. Uh, US uh, US Sing. So we were looking here for uh, yeah a spike of 200. Well, it moved above the 200. We didn't get a big green bar, but, but still it tested the 200. So let's take off the line. Now it's uh, dropping off. So that was basically a technical reaction, getting to the 200, testing it, um, but that fulfills the requirement. Well, now, now it's becoming an S1 pattern, right? S1 pattern short, let's just take this out. Uh, S1 pattern short, it, is it? Well, it, yes, we're touching the 21. Um, well, problem is um, it's not, uh, well, it is trending, right? We have a zigzag here, but it's uh, it is in a zigzag trend, but it's as well stuck in oval sideways. So, um, well, it has triggered an entry, um, and uh, I don't want to trade it. But should it develop momentum? Well, we know this is a stop run level. This is a stop run level. Once the consolidation low breaks, this one, well, then we've got a huge, right, huge opportunity to move lower. So that has huge swing 
potential. Um, so that's it. Thank you.